All right, we're going to have a quick tutorial of Lucid Press. Once you arrive at Lucid Press, sign up for an account. You can just use your Google to log in. I'm going to go to Documents where everything is stored. Once I'm here, I'll do this drop down tab. If you're hoping to print something out, you're making a flyer, making a brochure, look through the templates for print items. If you're hoping to make something digitally, it's going to stay digital. Do the for tablet, mobile, and PC items. Look through the bro look through the different templates there. Because it's the easiest way to show you simple things, we're going to use a blank digital document template. When we get in here, let's go ahead and give our new Lucid Press document a name. Here at the top, we're going to call it Utah Geography. All right. In Lucid Press, all the items you can bring in are over here on the left. Text, shapes, images, and so forth down the line. The great part is you can just drag them and drop them over there. So if I open up the text, if I want to bring a title in, I can just drag it over here. Lucid Press will tell me where the middle of the document is. I dropped it there and I'm good to go. So let's name this Utah Geography once again. Now it's off centered. There we go, brought it to the center. Other things you can bring in shapes. I really like to put in lines or maybe a shape behind my titles. So I'm going to bring in a shape. I can adjust the shape by grabbing the corners, pulling it to any length and width I want. Let's try that. But when I put it here, I can no longer see my text. If you have two items on top of each other, you can just right click and send items to the back, send them to the front. I want to send this one to the back so I can see my text. Then I'll center it a little bit. You'll notice every time I do something, it says saving or all changes saved up here. Similar to a Google Doc, Lucid Press auto saves everything you do. Also similar to a Google Doc, you can share this with other people, with collaborators, and they'll be able to help you work on your content, which is a, a great classroom tool. All right, just a few other things we're going to bring in. First of all, an image. You can drag and drop an image. Since this is a Utah Geography document, I have this random map of Utah we'll put in here. Going to make it a little smaller. If you want to bring in a paragraph of text, you can do so. Just drag and drop, change the size. All right, we'll call that good. Once you have an element selected, whether it be a picture or a text box or whatever, if you come to the right hand of your screen, you can see the text, style, or layout for that item. So I could change the size of my text here. I could change the font. Um, if I go to style, this is where I could maybe put a color in the background. All right, if I want to make it green, yellow, we'll go with yellow just to practice. You can create a border around an item or an element, which I like as well, helps it stick out a little bit. All right, a few other things we'll look at. Pulling in a video. If you want to pull in the video, you can just type in any YouTube or Vimeo URL right here, copy and paste. Um, they always give you one anyway, so I'm just going to use this one that's already been provided to me. Got a little YouTube video there. And the last thing I'll show you is a scroll area. If you want to bring in a scroll area, this allows you to bring in a lot of content into a small area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop a lot of pictures into this so that we can see lots of pictures of Utah's geography in this small space. So I have pictures of all these different rivers and lakes in Utah. All right, I'm going to double click outside of the box 
So I get out of it, and now I can come into this element, and I can change the size so I only see one picture at a time. I can drag it to anywhere. All right, still a little too big. I can drag it here, and then once you're actually viewing the document digitally, we're going to look at a preview. Here I can scroll through and see different items. Alright, so those are just some basics of how to use LucidPress. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.